Now that you have your mrproxies.mib3 file saved to disk, you'll use the object paint feature to scatter them across an uneven terrain. In the top view, create an MR proxy object of any size and go to the Modify panel. Click the Proxy File Browse button, navigate to where you saved your .mib files and select the WinterTree proxy. If you haven't saved the proxy file as shown in the last movie, you can use the ones provided to you. The tree proxy appears too big for this scene. Adjust the scale factor to fit this scene's units better. A value of about 0.1 should do. You can repeat the MR proxy creation process to add other trees. You can also copy the existing tree and simply reload other MIB files into the duplicates. In this case, you'll be using quite an eclectic assortment of trees. Normally, you wouldn't want to use all four seasons on the same day. If you tried rendering the trees right now, they would only render based on their wire color. In the Slate Material Editor, make sure your tree library is loaded and assign the right material to each appropriate tree. If you haven't saved the tree library as shown in the last movie, a library named TreeLib has been provided for your convenience. You are now ready to scatter the proxy files onto the terrain. Make sure the ribbon is expanded and go to the Object Paint tab. If you need to, choose a different wire color for the proxy so that they show more contrast when scattered across the terrain. The next thing you want to do is specify which objects you want to scatter, in this case the four proxies. When there are multiple objects to choose, it is best to use the Edit Objects List button. Here, you can add and reorder the objects to paint. As a side note, it is always a good idea to rename objects in 3ds Max. In this case, naming the proxies, perhaps based on their appropriate season, would make selection a bit easier. This is especially true if and when you decide to use some proxies and not others. Close the dialog. At this time, MR Proxy 004 is selected as a paint object. Choose instead All Randomly from the drop down list to ensure all trees in the list are used as paint objects. Next, you define where you want to paint or scatter the objects. In this case, choose the Paint on Selected options. This means that as long as the terrain is selected, you can scatter trees along its geometry. Before you start painting, there are a few more options to consider. The Align feature is set by default to follow the normals of the paint surface. Disable this option to ensure the trees grow vertically and not lean with the terrain. To determine the spacing between scattered objects, use the Tape Helper to measure an appropriate distance. In this case, a spacing value of about 40 units should do. To prevent the trees from always facing the same way, give them a random Z rotation value. This will randomize their vertical orientation. As far as tree scale is concerned, you can keep the scale to uniform factor so that the trees keep their aspect ratio. However, choose to randomize the scale by giving it low high values, say a range of 60 to 160 percent. This will ensure a random difference in tree sizes. You are now ready to scatter the trees. Choose the Paint tool and paint away with a click and drag. Make sure you don't paint inside the riverbed. At any time you can lift the mouse button and start another brush stroke somewhere else. In some cases there may be a gap between scattered objects and the geometry you're painting them on, especially when you're not aligned to normals. In that case, you can adjust the offset value down a bit in this case to sink the tree trunks further into the terrain. The beauty of this object paint tool 
is that you are free to make adjustments until you commit to the changes. This means you can change the spacing, scale factors, add more brush strokes, or simply cancel the strokes and start them over. Once you are satisfied, click the Commit button to accept the changes. The scattered trees are copies of the originals, so you can now delete those if you want to. As you can see, using MR proxies in conjunction with Object Paint is a quick and useful way to populate the scene with similar objects. The process also frees up memory and speeds up render time.